What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Tucker Carlson and Elon Musk may have single-handedly changed the landscape of news and the trajectory of Twitter uh, all in one false swoop. Last night, Tucker Carlson made an uh, announcement of a return. And I actually, this was one of the scenarios I suspected. And if you follow along in the video, I think, um, uh, you know, I'll explain why I think this is such a monumental thing and why I think that uh, um, it has the power to transform both for Tucker Carlson and for Elon Musk. Let's start with the video first of all. Tucker Carlson tweets, we're back. A video, a tweet that was viewed nearly 100 million times. Nearly 100 million times. Now, I don't know if he was doing any kind of promotion on this tweet. I don't think he was. Um, oh, I see whites is, is trending. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, but uh, the video itself has 21 million views. 21 million views. That is eight times, well, seven times, sorry, his peak audience on Fox. Seven times, a 700% increase. Think about it if you're an advertiser and you're like, and Tucker says, hey, remember when you used to sell my pillow on my show for $100,000 a week uh, and reach uh, 3 million people? How'd you like to reach mm, 21 million people for the same price or double the price or triple the price or quadruple the price, quadruple the price, 5x the price would all still be value propositions for Tucker. Let's take a little look at some of the things he said. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. You often hear people say the news is full of lies, but most of the time that's not exactly right. Much of what you see on television or read the New York Times is in fact true in the literal sense. It could pass one of the media's own fact checks. Lawyers would be willing to sign off on it. In fact, they may have, but that doesn't make it true. It's not true. At the most basic level, the news you consume is a lie, a lie of the stealthiest and most insidious kind. Facts have been withheld on purpose, along with proportion and perspective. You are being manipulated. How does that work? Let's see. If I tell you that a man has been unjustly arrested for armed robbery, that is not, strictly speaking, a lie. He may have been framed. At this point, there's been no trial, so no one... But if I don't mention the fact that the same man has been arrested for the same crime six times before, am I really informing you? No, I'm not. I'm misleading you. Mm -hmm. And that's what the news media are doing in every story that matters every day of the week, every week of the year. 100% What's it right. like to work in a system like that? After more than 30 years in the middle of it, we could tell you stories. The best <laughs> you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. There are always limits. Enough, you will be fired for it. That's not a guess. It's guaranteed. Every person who works in English language media understands that. The rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's mm. filthy, really, and it's utterly corrupting. You can't have a free society if people aren't allowed to say what they think is true. Speech is the fundamental prerequisite for democracy. That's why it's enshrined in the first of our constitutional amendments. Amazingly, as of tonight, there aren't many platforms left that allow free speech. The last big one remaining in the world, the only one, is Twitter, where we Ooh. are now. Twitter has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops. Twitter is not a partisan site. Everybody's allowed here, and we think that's a good thing. And yet, for the most part, the news that you see analyzed on Twitter comes from media organizations that are themselves thinly disguised propaganda outlets. You see it on cable news. Facts. You talk about it on Twitter. The result may feel like a debate, but actually the gatekeepers are still in charge. We think that's a bad system. We know exactly how it works and we're sick of it. Starting soon, we'll be bringing a new version of the show we've been doing for the last six and a half years to Twitter. We'll be bringing some other things too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. Free speech is the main right that you have. Without it, you have no others. See you soon. Ooh wee 
you love to see it. Why is this so big? Okay, first of all, Twitter has been, in my opinion, floundering. Uh, <clears throat> as, a, as a service, it's still not great. The uh, customer service has been gutted. You know, I have problems with my own Twitter account that uh, just never get fixed, no matter how hard I try. And, and, even, and sometimes I even get the eye or the replies of Elon Musk and I still can't get them fixed. However, overnight, this is a monumental shift. First of all, let me talk about this. Advertisements. This is Twitter's greatest weakness. Okay, first of all, Twitter ads themselves aren't very effective. Uh, it's just like, oh, you see this thing every once in a while, click-through rates are really low unless you're selling like a mobile game or a prawn site or something like that. Where ads are really effective are in video. Now, if Twitter has the storage space for more people to be uploading full-length video, okay, immediately you get a massive potential audience. Secondly, as advertisers, if you look at, if you're watching this video on YouTube, for example, and you saw an ad in it, I appreciate you watching it because I made a penny. But the, the point is now advertisers will have, will be able to pay Twitter for in video advertising once they get that rolled out. And that is a far more attractive form of advertising for companies because it just works better. It works, it works orders of magnitude better than a, an ad that kind of just shows up in your timeline or whatever. So if you have a guy like Tucker Carlson who is doing a nightly show that is seeing even the 3 million, okay? Even if it's just 3 million, only 3 million. I don't think I have a single video of 3 million views. It is going to change the landscape because everyone is going to be forced to upload here as well. Now, I originally had hoped that it would be Rumble. And I actually don't think that um, this is going to be his permanent home. I think this is going to be him uh, uh, staying relevant until he can monetize and rebuild and things of that nature. He even advertises his website at the end in which he, where he sells some sort of memberships, which is what everyone has to do nowadays. Elon Musk replies and says, on this platform, unlike the one-way street of broadcast, people are able to interact, critique, and refute whatever is said. And of course, anything misleading will get community notes. I also wanted to be clear that we have not signed a deal of any kind whatsoever. Tucker is subject to the same rules and rewards of all content creators. Rewards mean subscriptions and advertising revenue share coming soon. And that's the clutch part, the advertising revenue share. If Twitter gets that figured out, People will flood there. Flood. Now, in my experience, uploading full-length videos didn't really, was not super beneficial. However, uh, what I'm going to do is once Tucker starts, I will also start again and see. Right now, a lot of people are hesitant to upload because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, they don't make any money, right? Especially creators that rely, you know, creators that are, supporting staff, you know, I've got five, six employees. It's like, oh man, if I upload my videos to Twitter and it, it bleeds off 25,000 views of my YouTube videos, uh, then I don't get paid for it. This is just the reality of it. For me, I never really make that, I don't really care. That's why I've always uploaded to BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble, because it's not about money, it's about supporting all tech. And the same must be true of Twitter. And so I will also start uploading my full length videos to Twitter once I get back in my office. And um, I think that hopefully my fellow content creators will follow suit. I know it's scary to try and, you know, to forego some, in uh, some income until YouTube, get until Twitter gets that figured out. But also remember, it's a time of evolution for content creators. Very, very few content creators can simply survive on ad revenue anymore these days. Most of us are doing ad reads. Um, and if you're, if you're really grinding, heh, you've got things like a coffee company, which is what I have, coffeebrandcoffee.com. We've got 
you know, roasted fresh on demand coffee. We've got 15 organic teas. We've got real cacao cocoa, my own facility out West. Um, you know, we've just hired two new people to help with fulfillment. This is the way of the modern YouTuber. You have to be a business person too. You can't just be a content creator if you want to survive. And what's interesting is the, the meltdown that's happening is absolutely apocalyptic. Um, you see, Tucker Carlson's new Twitter show could spell doom for Elon Musk. What? Why? In what world would it? Uh, if, if, you know, if Twitter has obviously community notes to take care of things, if advertisers, the thing is what, what has to happen is you have to, um, be able to live through the leftist activist organizations, right? That, uh, will pull their advertising dollars. And now it's time for the, the companies that are apolitical or conservative or right-leaning to start spending their money on the platforms that will let people speak. Tucker Carlson will bring his own multi-million dollar package of advertisers every month. This I am certain of. You see Mother Jones, did Elon Musk unleash racist dog whistles to woo Tucker Carlson? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is absolutely amazing for all content creators out there, everyone who wants to have their content seen, and every single person that produces video or audio content because the bigger fish that come to Twitter gives us smaller fish room to swim alongside them and grow. And then once you grow there, then you can monetize later with other methodologies. Or when you go to advertisers, you can say, I get, 50,000 views per YouTube video, but I also get another 30,000 on Twitter, another 20,000 combined on Rumble, Odyssey, and BitChute. So therefore I get 110,000 or 120,000 views per video. That's how you have to package it when you talk to advertisers. This is absolutely amazing and a huge seismic shift for all content creators out there. I'm really, really happy to report it. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like, a like on the video. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.